like I was an artist, but I think honestly I'm a copier because I just look at the sunset and I look at everything that's been created and it's just beautiful and I'm just thankful to be able to try and portray it in art. Creating industrial or steampunk crafts, just making stuff from repurposed things. A good example would be I took a plastic uh, garbage can at a very industrial arts coffee shop and I did a steampunk job on it to make it look like a boiler with rivets and steel all from you know I denied the uh, medium. I have a lot of fun doing that. So I'm Debbie Lewis and I'm a Long Beach watercolor artist and I came out to do the Huntington Beach Art Walk because I've never been here before. I actually grew up in New York. Okay. And a little bit of accent left. And what made you want to come out here? Well, I've been living in Long Beach the last five years. I've done a few shows there, but I was just ready to branch out and wanted another beach area. I like, I like painting on beach scenes. I work almost exclusively in watercolor. That's my absolute favorite medium. I like you know, sharp contrast and lots of color. Okay. That's like physically what inspires me. But I think, you know, the urge to paint is like, we all have this innate urge to create. And everybody sort of finds their own creative outlet. Uh -huh. Like, what, what do they like to create? But I think it's just natural for a person to create. My name is Kim, and I make jewelry, handmade. And it's nice because I'm able to try to enjoy what I can do, even in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> so actually I'm a musician um, and I just, like I said, I picked one up, I started painting it, I don't really have anybody that I look at, sometimes people will call me, ask me if I can do this or this or this, um, and I, my only thing is I say I try. From that I wound up doing a couple of horses, I've got a wolf, I've got a fox, it just kind of expands out and uh, what I feel like doing at the time. Uh, my name is Heck and I'm a tattooer in Huntington Beach, California. Uh, my preferred media would be watercolor. Uh, it's just, it, translate really, it translates really well as far as the tattooer goes from uh, painting to artwork to, to tattooing. I would have to say my favorite tattooer is my father. Uh, he's a fine artist, he uh, paints in oils. He probably has maybe 30 or 40 paintings that nobody has ever seen and he's really uh, reserved about showing his stuff. Uh, but he's always inspired me to do better and to just push forward. Uh, yeah, he's, he's my biggest hero as far as artwork comes. It's crazy, I'm inspired by all artists, whether tattooer, fine artists, sculptures, animators. I see something that, I see something in every piece of art that I could possibly be translated into a tattoo that makes it a little bit different. Um, I'm always seeking out people who are kind of pushing the envelope and it's just inspiring like uh, Instagram and Facebook are just, there's so many talented people in the world right now that the internet gives you so much to look at and be inspired by that it really keeps people pushing. Once you get a taste of the beach life, you never want to go anywhere else.